Hello friends, welcome back to All on Unlaw. This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is Listeria. Listeria monocytogens. Monocytogens. So, guys, before starting a discussion on this, this is a very important topic for USML step one. I would like to brief you about our channel. Our channel has right now has more than 600 medical video lectures for USMLE examination from USMLE step 1 to USMLE step 3. Our lectures not only help for USMLE examination but also it helps for your other medical board examinations like Canadian Medical Council examination, Australian Medical Council examination or your country medical board examination whatever. So guys try to answer, try to concentrate on our video and try to share our video and Please thumb up if you like the video and please do subscribe and please tell your friends to subscribe. Okay guys, so this is going to be a brief video but I'm going to discuss here very important points over here. LM, okay. Before that, Listeria monocytogens, what are the characteristics of Listeria? Whenever you hear a word, Listeria monocytogens, what you remember of? You just remember the two or three important points. One is unpasteurized milk products that's really very important I'm gonna talk later unpasteurized milk products okay unpasteurized milk products okay and th this is really very important okay and the other important thing as a microbiologist you should remember as a tumbling motility okay tumbling motility And the third important point for a clinical for for USMLE is Listeria meningitis. That is very common cause of meningitis in renal transplant patients and adult with a cancer. Okay, so remember Listeria meningitis. Listeria. Okay, that is very common in a renal transplant patients and cancer patients. Guys, and the other regarding if you discuss about Listeria meningitis, try to remember about the drug that is really very important because this is often asked in USMLE examination that's the ampicillin. Okay, because in USMLE examination, definitely they will ask you if they are asking a question on a Listeria meningitis, they will ask you the drug which is commonly used or which of the following drug you can add up to his what you call um, treatment plan they can ask like that okay guys so these are the important points you should remember about the listeria monocytogen let's move on in detail let's talk about listeria monocytogens lm so tell me it's a gram positive or a gram negative bacteria it's a gram positive okay it's an alpha or a beta hemolytic it's a beta hemolytic remember this is a really very important point okay and it's a faculty to faculty to intracellular it's a faculty to intracellular okay and what about the motility motility is really very important it is a tumbling motility tumbling motility okay so these are the important points okay and uh, for USML examination these are the uh, listed and monocytogen is really very important topic and tell me it's a rod or a bacilli it's a rod okay so they are gram positive beta hemolytic faculty to intracellular and has a tumbling motility okay and the other important thing that you should remember is cold growth cold growth 
okay so now you tell me what's the reservoir for this what's the reservoir it's unpasteurized milk products unpasteurized milk products why unpasteurized milk products because it is present in the gastrointestinal or genital tracts if animals that's why unpasteurized milk products can cause this listeria monocytogens so for in your in usmla examination try to look for this word that they are consuming goat's milk or camel's milk or something like that okay that's a really very important and for a cold growth you can think as a reservoir as soft cheese okay uh, hot dogs okay cold growth is seen in hot dogs that's also very important deli meats okay uh, that's really very important so what about the transmission transmissions by foot bone vertical or across the placenta right now let's move on to the important topic there's a pathogenesis okay pathogenesis the pathogenesis it produces a hemolysin that is listeriolysin o that is a, nothing but a beta hemolysin okay right so what it does it just plays a game with what you call phygosomes phygosomes okay so facilitates the rapid egress from a phygosomes into the what you call a cytoplasm and thus it evading the killing when lysosomal contents are dumped into the phygosome okay so these are very important how it acts if you remember lysterolysin that's really very enough for you for your usml examination okay um right now the diseases the important disease i said is is one of the cause for uh, meningitis okay meningitis and even neonatal meningitis is really very important neonatal okay that is known as early onset okay uh, granulomatosis infecti septum okay infant septum that's really very important so there are two types in a neonatal disease we have uh, what you call late onset early onset blah 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 okay and the more important thing what you have to remember is the listeria meningitis uh, that is the most common for the meningitis in a patient who has been renal who has been done with a renal transplants or a patient with the cancers remember this meningitis okay that's really very important in renal transplant okay guys so just think of this and uh, how do you diagnose this uh, listeria monocytogen blood or csf culture okay on a wet mount csf on a wet mount or gram staining okay what what is the treatment plan for this the treatment for this is the important drug that you should remember is ampicillin that's really very important never ever forget about ampicillin whenever they give what you call um um ampicillin or whenever they give the history of or diagnosis of listeria monocytogen infection okay ampicillin with gentamicin can be given for immunocompromised patients okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure this video is really very helpful for your usml step on examination thank you so much and please do not forget to subscribe and please do not forget to share our videos with your friends thank you take care